Hey folks, Brendan here from Blue Light with another video and podcast to help support you if you're a potential recruit to want to get into the police or if you're a serving officer and you're looking to get promoted. So one of the questions that we've been focusing on in several of my, several of my webinars and in my one-to-ones is around how will you in the future engage with hard to reach or less heard groups in the community? So this could be a question that would be asked of you as a potential sergeant. So how in the future as a sergeant will you ensure that your officers engage effectively with hard to reach groups in the community or less heard groups in the community? Equally, if you're a potential recruit, it could be asked as well of you. And I know, because I've just done some one-to-one -one coaching with someone who knows, they are, know because they've been told they're gonna get asked this question uh, for a particular force, I'm not gonna say which one, that they're going to get asked this question, uh, how will you, as a police officer, engage effectively with uh, the phrase they use is less heard communities. So for those of you who haven't come across these videos before, I'm Brendan from Blue Light and I've been helping people just like you to succeed in police recruitment processes and in promotion board specialist interviews now for 26 years. Can you believe that? 26 years. So I started off back in the 90s helping my colleagues to get promoted to sergeant and get specialist interview uh, success. And it's been building on that since so that several hundred people have now been promoted, got specialist interview success since then. And there's well over 13,000, probably pushing 14,000 people now who are in the police as a result of my support, either through one-to-ones, online courses, seminars, webinars. Check the links below. There's loads of stuff there for you that's free to access, a Facebook group of over 20,000 members that's just focused on police recruitment and police career support. Loads for you to get your teeth stuck into. Anyway, back to the question. It's gonna be a short one, this, because what really gets me about this question is that actually there's no hard to reach community and communities are only less heard because you're not there to listen to them. It really isn't hard. And so, you know, in terms of how to structure this answer, we, we worked on that in the one-to-one. -one. But I'm just going to share a few points with you because I wanted to demonstrate to my client that actually there's no such thing as a hard-to-reach community. There is no such thing as a less heard community. Well, actually, they are less heard and they're only less heard because you're not listening to them. And so to prove the point, um, I just picked up my phone and said, name a location in your force constabulary area. Just name any small town, market town, city, whatever you want at random, just pick one. And so this individual picked one and then I just Googled it. So diversity in the name of this place, just two words, two words. And it came up with a load of data from the council in that area about all the various groups that were represented. And I found a Filipino association. It didn't take me long. It took me about a minute and a half to find that there's discovered there was actually a Filipino association in that area. And so um, actually my client was actually familiar with that area and had no idea that there was a Filipino community there. Well, there must be because we looked it up and they have regular meetings. Where did they have their regular meetings? It's an Asian centre. My client didn't even know there was an Asian centre. And so what we did was we built up a narrative in the one-to-one, -one, and we do this in the webinars as well, build up a narrative about how you would answer that question and how you would portray the fact that they're not less heard and they're not hard to reach. There's certain specific things that you can do, really easy, actionable things these are, by the way, really easy, actionable things. My client was bowled over about how easy it would be to engage with the Filipino community. Absolutely, he was bowled over by it and just thought, God, it's that simple, isn't it? It really is that simple. So we cover that in the one-to-ones, we cover that in the webinars. My invite to you is to come and join those webinars, to come and join the one-to-ones if you feel as though that level of support would be something that's going to help you whether you're going for promotion or whether you are going through the recruitment process these simple things are easily easily actionable and honestly you're just gonna you're gonna listen to it and think wow why are we doing that already why are we not doing that already so listen uh, for those of you who are actually on my courses 
um, in the Enforced Advancement Group for those of you who are serving officers, working on promotion, specialist interviews, and for those of you who are in the interview course, um, I'm going to do a part two where I'm going to explain to you just one of the things that you could do that's so actionable, it is so, so easy to action, you are not going to believe it. But again, you're going to listen to it and think it's so simple and it would be so effective and it's really going to make a difference in terms of ensuring that that community doesn't feel less heard and that they are indeed not hard to reach. So stand by for part two. And for those of you who are watching this thinking, I want to know what's in part two, check the links below. <coughs> Excuse me. Check the links below and uh, join, join the webinars, join the interview course. Um, get to watch the second part. Um, and you're going to be able to nail that answer, completely nail it. All right, take care, folks. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.